For God works all things for the good of them that love him. For the good of them who are called according to his purpose. Our address, physical services, 106 Ninth Road, King, in Johannesburg. My number is plus 27824569264. You shall surely be blessed. May God bless you and I look forward to receiving you. Amen. Good evening to you all. You are welcome tonight to this segment of Shekana Online. And uh, I'm, my name is Abi Adeniba. And I just want to welcome you tonight. And thank you for being with me once more and sharing your time with me. Now today, I want to continue on the, uh, the series which I began uh, uh, two weeks ago. Perhaps, and I know that... Um, if you listen to the last week, you probably have picked up that I'm wanting to set you on the roller coaster for the year 2024. It must be a year of your uplifting, and that is what I believe. And so I've been talking about, you know, uh, turning your mistake into mastery. Now, why do we need to turn our mistake to mastery? Because, you know, mistakes happen to everyone, both in your social life and your businesses. And um, your personal choice and decisions oftentimes ends up to be a wrong decision. Maybe, again, you relied on certain people to, you know, come to certain things with you and they are not forthcoming. It's part of mistakes of choice people make life partner choice and it turns out to be something wrong they make wrong financial mistakes or financial investment it turns out to be a mistake but i want to show you tonight that most of these disappointments leads us to regrets and one of the mastery i want to talk about tonight is that you can move from regret to a reset but Understand last week when I said that you need to turn your mistakes to mastery. You know, we all know what mistake is. It's an attribute of man. But mastery means a skill, a knowledge of some discipline. Mastery is to have control and ability to, to subordinate another. That's what mastery is, to, to have control, to have command. That's what mastery is, such as having a mastery. I give an example. You have a mastery of certain language, either French or Spanish. And, you know, you, you can speak as much like a, like a Spanish person, even though you are from Africa. So this talk is to lure you into gaining mastery of your emotion, mastery of your true self. And that was where... We ended it last week. So today, I want to look at another aspect of how we come, what comes out of our mistakes. And, and that is, you know, having regrets of what had already taken place. But my talk tonight is to move you forward and to set you on the right pedestal. My name is Abe. I'm the director of Shekana Institute for Leadership and entrepreneurship and this is what we do uh, i teach leadership lifestyle other management culture and at the same time we encourage our entrepreneurs we bring them into emotional intelligence and also in the workplace we also help employees to perform at their best we teach certain things about life that we make them to be productive. And that's what we do at Shekana Institute. At the same time, we have moved into governance and how do we prepare government leaders into functioning in the purpose for which they were elected or they seek office. And so that's what we do in Shekana Institute. Now, tonight, I want to talk about turning your mistakes into mastery let's go now 
Today, another way to turn your mistakes into mastery is for you to move from regrets to a reset. Now, you can turn your mistakes into mastery if you move from the level of regret to a level of reset, a condition of reset. And I said to you that mistakes is a shaping tool of life. We are human and anyone can make mistakes, but we learn from it. Mistakes makes you to be humble. Mistakes prunes you. It prunes your wings of pride. That's what it does. However, there's so much you can take from that experience. As human beings, you know, we are not immune to mistakes. And so the, 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 the experience leads us to have regrets when it comes, you know, with some kind of indelible, uh, indelible disappointments, you know. So, but what is going to happen is how do you respond in this situation? How you respond to your regrets is what we're going to deal with tonight. Now, you have to reset your emotion. You have to reset your emotion positively with calmness. And this is how you can start to attain a level of mastery of your emotion by moving from a level of regrets to a level of reset. Now, look at what a regret is, you know, a regret is, is sadness about wrong decisions, for example. It's sadness about a disappointment that you have experienced, which also may have, you know, um, as a result of your mistakes. Disappointment comes from your mistakes. People disappoint you. You make a wrong choice. You get disappointed yourself, and then you are caught up in the cage of regrets. And I'm saying today, you know, you can move from that regret and get to a level of reset. Again, we experience this in business. We experience regrets in personal relationships. That's with the sources where we experience this. Therefore, every experience counts. Every experience counts in the mastery of life and events. Negative things happened. Uncertainties in our habit is unavoidable, but it depends on your response to the environment of uncertainties. You need to find certainties where people are seeing uncertainties. Therefore, your response will determine how quickly you recover. Your response will determine how you recover how you are able to have that mindset for further growth, apart from the disappointment that you have seen. Now, look at reset. Why do you have to reset? Why do you need it? that level of reset, that condition of reset after regrets? Now, the principle of a reset in this case is to count your losses. It's to count your losses is to readjust, readjust emotionally, readjust in your thinking, and to have a new clear view of the way forward when you have seen regrets in certain aspects of life. You can quickly pick it up from there, and then you move on. So, to reset could be to, to start again, to start afresh. To put the regrets behind you and count all that you have known and count them as losses. And then you are reaching out, putting yourself in the condition whereby you can do things better, whereby you hope to, new, to meet new people. Um, you, you know, you, you, have, you develop a hope within yourself and have the faith you know, to, I mean, to, 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 to get into a new level, that level that you have not seen, that's what faith does. So it's to reset, it's my need for you to start something afresh again and readjusting, 
readjusting when you know that this is a mistake of a wrong choice, of a wrong investment, an experience. So to reset, what it does is that it will help you to make room for potential growth. It will help you to make room for potential growth areas of your strength. You are able to shift, you are able to migrate your strength into better things instead of living in regrets. And that's what I'm saying today. The way you turn your mistakes into mastery is for you to learn to move from regret into a reset. A reset is the platform where you start to plan new things. A reset time is when you have made adjustment emotionally. In fact, you will make adjustment also socially when you have seen certain regrets. And when you've reset, you get back into activities. You get back into activities. Because when you get back into activities, you are no longer mourning. When you get back, when you have, when you reset yourself, you get back into activities that will extinguish the regrets and put you into a better mental health. And that's what it does because when you when you are reset, your total mind mindset has really, you know, you develop that uh, the coping ability with what may have happened to you. And that's what I'm saying. You need to come to a, a, a time that you, are, you, are, you, you have readjusted, you have reset your mind in order to find a new level, to get over what may have been the regret. So you move from regret to reset. That means that you also you demonstrate resilience. You are able to demonstrate resilience because this is very, very important because you cannot leave yourself in that cage of regrets and you are not, you know, looking forward. So when you reset, it's a review of what may have happened. When you reset, it's for you to readjust and to review what may have led to your mistakes and every lesson you take from it becomes, you know, a, a lesson. It becomes an information for you to be better formed at the last move. So you get back into activities when you have reset. It enables you to extinguish, you know, the feeling of regrets. And, you you know, you, you have that break away from that emotional distress and you are able to operate with a much better mental health. You are no longer in any distress. In fact, you will be free of distress because you have count as loss what led to your feeling of regrets. So we're saying today we need to move from that uh, regret to a reset. A reset is when you start to re-strategize. When you are in a reset, you are re-strategizing. You are re-strategizing. You know, early in the year like this, people practice all kinds of things. Some of us maybe spray and fasting. You know, you also make a sort of reflection on what may have cost you regret last year or what you did not do well. So when we're talking about the reset, it's a moment that you have the, 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 the power of being present with yourself. You are no longer lost. You are present with yourself. That's what reset would give you. It's, it's a, it's, you, you engage even more, you know, within yourself. You are able to reflect and in that level of uh, mindfulness. So you have that presence with you. And that is what, you know, a reset that I'm talking about will surely give you. Now, getting there, when you demonstrate resilience, resilience will come in you, that is the ability to bounce back after such a disappointing moment. You have that ability to bounce back. That's what you know. That level of reset will earn you. It will earn you uh, that that resilience, the ability to bounce back, the ability to pursue other opportunities and growth areas. You know, they, there's a philosopher who says that uh, his name is uh, Frederick. Frederick Unche, he says that um, what uh, that which does not kill a man or that which does not kill us makes us stronger 
that which does not kill us makes us stronger. So certain things that cost you a regret, I want to tell you, as far as your life, you sh it should make you stronger. It should help you to have self-mastery. It should make you stronger. So you don't need to remain in that cage of regret. Now, resilience from regrets gets you back on your goals. Resilience from regrets, from disappointment, gets you back on your goals. You are able to focus. You are able to gain the mastery, especially mastery of your time management. Mastery of your time management. You prioritize your time. Those are the things that you learn. That is how you gain mastery. Because whatever may have cost you, or cost you the, the, the regret at a, some level of investment that you have made. Either investment of time, investment of materials. So what we are saying here is that you are able to, you know, gain the mastery of time management. You are able to know how to allocate your time to certain activities. You are able to allocate your time even to certain people. We'll talk about that in the next few days as well. But I want to say today that, you know, when you gain this resilience from regrets, from disappointment, you get back on your goals, you gain that mastery of your time management because a time is a valuable equity. Time is a valuable equity. Now, let me explain something to you because, you know, in certain business deals and social relationship, you can regret certain things. It may not be money. It may not be material things. But what you often get angry with might be that the time that you have invested, the couple of months you spend on a project, the couple of years you spend in certain, you know, relationship without positive outcome, time it's people when you get conscious about it is one of the pains is one of the pains time wasted is one of the pains of regrets is one of the pains of mistakes and i'm saying today that you can move from regret to a reset where you get yourself in order and you are able to gain mastery of your time you are able to know how to manage your time and that is another point and i'm showing you here but, you know, I've seen people that they left the relationship empty-handed after many months, after many years. How would you quantify that? You will sometimes think about the time you have put in in that relationship. That is always one of the points of pains. And I'm saying today that you can get over those pains, you can get over those regrets of pains when you reset, when you readjust, when you realign your emotions to your strength. You realign your emotions as well to, to your value. And that is how you move from regrets. You move into a reset. It's a place where you are able to replan your life. You know, a, a level of reset is when you sit to, to, to realign yourself to your vision. You realign yourself to your goals. And, and that's what I'm trying to say here, that mastery is not just Mastering a discipline. Mastery includes your total management. Awareness of self, awareness of your purpose, awareness of your strength. And that's how, you know, that those are the things that you will learn. So tonight we're saying that learn to move from regret into a reset because a reset is where you are able to think appropriately, but in the space of regret, you are just mourning. Nevertheless, I want you to understand, to reset or readjust, you master your social limitations. You master your social limitations. What do I mean by social limitation? It's, it's still, you know, about time management. You know, you, you know how you allocate your time, either in social setting or in certain things that does not really you know, account for your vision. You know, you, you learn about your social limitations because time lost is irreparable. Time lost is irreparable. 
Another philosopher that I read, he is a wisdom actually in the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 5. It says, you know, a time, there's a time to embrace and there's a time to shun embracing. It's all about time management and coming into consciousness of time, your time, your valuable time. So there is a time to embrace and there is a time to shun embracing. Therefore, we're saying today, turn your mistake into mastery. It's a swift move from regret to reset. And it gives you emotional stability. It gives you emotional stability. The stability to transcend disappointment and victimization from certain quarters, from certain community, from certain people. So when you reset, it, you, you, you gain that emotional stability. You gain that emotional stability to review your life and review what you do. Therefore, I'm saying today that by reset, again, you cultivate the mastery of your actions, thoughtful response to human fallibility, because human, they are fallible. You control your thoughts, your rest, thoughtful responses. You are able to do that because you certainly move from regret into reset, a space where you can be able to review, even if it's your, it was your mistake, even if it was your wrong choice, or you have been offended, you need to move to a reset where you review and where you readjust. Therefore, we're concluding by saying that when we move from regret to reset, we're able to have the mastery of our action, of our thoughtful responses to every human error. And that is how you maintain your true self. You maintain your true self because for every human, there's imperfection. Imperfection is the attribute of man, including myself. And so I'm saying today, whatever may have cost you a regret, you need to move away from it. You need to move away from the space of regret and move to a space of reset where you are emotionally stable and you can replan yourself, you can review what was not right, and that is what I want to achieve tonight, that move from regrets to reset. And that's how you can transcend your mistakes. That's how you can turn your mistakes into mastery. And this is the way to go. To, to reset is to gain a quick relief of the burdens of regrets, either in business or in social relationship, without losing your identity. And that's what I want to share with you today, that you can turn your mistakes into mastery. If you learn to move from regret into a reset, if you learn to get over emotional disappointment, emotional pains, and count it as something that you have to put behind you so that you can enter into more potential growth area of your strength. And that is what I want to leave you with tonight. And um, thank you so much for giving me your time. And um, I wish to continue on this topic that we can surely, we are not bound to our mistakes. We can turn it into mastery of our true self. And today we have dealt with transcending our regrets and coming to a space of reset where we can think better and learn to make better choices, learn to work with the right people. We're going to look at that next week. But I want to leave you here tonight and thank you for sharing your time with me. This has been Abbe Adeniba, Director of Shekana Fellowship Ministry or Pastor of Shekana Fellowship Ministry. But I'm speaking from our curriculum at Shekana Institute for Leadership and Entrepreneurs. Thank you so much. May God bless you. And I will see you in another few days. Thank you.
Tchau.